As you become more proficient with WordPress development, you'll find that sometimes things don't work as expected, and you need to figure out why. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the built-in debugging options for WordPress. First, you will learn what it means to debug your code. Then, you will learn about some built-in WordPress debugging options that are available to you in a default WordPress installation, as well as how to enable and use them. Debugging is the process of finding and fixing errors in your code. As the two primary programming languages of WordPress are PHP and JavaScript, you need to be able to debug both. With JavaScript code, which is executed in the browser, it's fairly straightforward to use console.log to write messages to the browser console for the purposes of testing and debugging. PHP, on the other hand, is executed on the server, and so you need to find ways to find out what's happening when things go wrong. There are a few third-party tools you can use for advanced debugging, like xDebug or Ray. However, for the purposes of this lesson, you'll learn about options that are specific to WordPress and require no additional software. In WordPress, during any WordPress request lifecycle, the WP debug mode function is run to set up the debugging environment. This function is located in the WP includes load.php file. If you look at the code, you can see that if the WP debug constant is set to true, then it sets the PHP error reporting level to E all, which means turn on all error reporting. Additionally, if WP debug display is set to true, then it sets the display errors PHP setting to 1, which means turn on the display of these errors on the screen. Finally, if WP debug log is set to true, then it sets the error log PHP setting to the WP content debug.log file. It's also possible to configure a custom debug log file location, other than the default. If this log file is enabled, it will set the PHP log errors setting to 1 and set the error log setting to the path of the log file, meaning that all errors will be logged to this file. Using this knowledge, you can configure your wp-config.php file to enable WordPress debugging. To enable debugging, open the wp-config.php file and scroll down to where the WP debug constant is set. You can update that section to look like this. Define WP debug as true, add define WP debug display as false, and add defining WP debug log as true. This configuration will enable debugging, disable displaying the errors on screen, and enable logging the errors to the WP content debug.log file. Depending on your personal preference, you can enable displaying the errors on screen, but this can lead to the errors either being missed or overlaying other important content on screen, which is not ideal. Additionally, if you're ever debugging an issue on a production site, you don't want to display errors on screen, as this can lead to sensitive information being displayed to a user. To see this in action, let's look at an example. Let's say you've developed a plugin with the following code. The plugin creates a form submissions table in the database when it is activated, and then registers a REST API get root to fetch the form submissions from the database. For the purposes of testing, you've manually inserted a few records into the form submissions table. However, if you visit the REST API's get root, you don't see any form submissions, so you need to start looking for bugs in your code. By simply enabling debugging, any errors in your code are automatically logged to the WP content debug log file. So if you take a look, you'll see any errors that have been logged. In this case, two errors are being reported. First is a PHP notice triggered by WordPress, which is caused by hooking the WP learn register roots function on the wrong action. Second is an error related to the database query being run to fetch the form submissions. It looks like it is querying the table form submission, not form submissions. Once you fix these errors and visit the REST API get root, you see the form submissions are returned. In addition to logging errors to the debug log file, you can also log messages or variables to the debug log file using the PHP error log function. This function accepts a single string parameter. For example, if you wanted to log a SQL query being run to the debug log file, you could use the following code. If you refresh the request and view the debug log file, you see the query being logged to the file. In addition to logging the last query, you can also log all queries that are run during a WordPress request lifecycle. 
To do this, you can enable the save queries constant in your wp-config.php file. Once you've enabled this constant, you can log all queries by using the following code. This uses the error log function combined with the php printr function to log the wp queries array to the debug log file. This array contains all the queries that have been run during the WordPress request lifecycle and is only available if the save queries constant is enabled. For more information on debugging in WordPress, check out the debugging in WordPress section in the advanced administration area of the WordPress developer documentation.